Hi everyone. Hi guys. My name is Belle. I'm Eve. And I am nine years old. I'm seven years old. Hello everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, this video, the products I put on, none of them are of my choosing. I let my girls come in yesterday afternoon. They were out of school for the eclipse. Happy she... eclipse day. We're actually in the path of totality. They let the kids stay home. There was a ton of extra traffic in our area. People traveling in to see the eclipse. We also had clear skies um, and some areas on the path I know did not. But anyway, I had some kids around a little bit extra and I let them come in here and um, Belle and Eve took turns taking the various steps of my makeup routine for today. Let's just say I think there were a lot of decisions made based on packaging, but this should be fun. I'm going to try to make it work. The difference between the eye palette and the lip color, they're like a world away. So I'm not sure how this is all going to go, but my skincare is on and I'm ready to go. So I think the CoverGirl played for skincare. So we've got the CoverGirl Color Correcting Serum Moisturizer Primer. So this is supposed to be a brightening primer. Um, kind of a newer thing from CoverGirl. They've got this clean, fresh skincare line. Little glass bottle with a pump, you know. They're making it a little bit more, ooh, we got a little, little chunk coming out there, a little dried chunk, okay. But this would be one of the pricier things you can get from CoverGirl's line. And I do think it does some brightening. It feels definitely like an extra layer of hydration on the skin, which I could probably use that. For foundation, I got CoverGirl Outlast. It is red on the top, and red's my favorite color. If it's got red on it, she's probably gonna pick it. So she saw the CoverGirl Outlast Extreme Wear Foundation, which I do really love. Um, this is in the shade Natural Beige. So we got a CoverGirl Primer and Foundation Combo. They say this is transfer resistant, SPF 18. This is a really good foundation and definitely one with the best staying power. So I'm not mad at this choice whatsoever. And I was asked recently like how the staying power of this compares to Rimmel Lasting Finish. And I'm gonna really be paying attention to that today because this has been excellent. Um, lasting Finish is really, really good too. I'm dabbing this in with my Milani sponge and we will just pay attention to this today. They have really similar coverage levels and neither one looks super heavy on the skin. So they, they just got so many similarities. See, it looks really fresh, but yet I'm very covered up. Minor imperfections are definitely being blurred and covered, but especially with a sponge blending method, you may still see some things um, coming through on the skin. You could bring this to a full coverage place if you wanted to apply it with a brush, I will say that. For concealer, I picked the L16 Hour Concealer. The concealer choice, e.l.f. Camo Concealer here. Um, this is just the regular matte version of it, which I have in light sand. Yeah, we're setting up for some amazing coverage today, and I do like even just the plain camo concealer. I certainly talk about the hydrating more, just because I think it's a little bit more of a special formula, but I like the matte too, and it definitely will do a good job on coverage. And to blend this, I think I will bring in my sponge again, but I will first take my dots and take a smaller brush, this is just the end of the e.l.f. duo brush, and just spread those dots a bit and then bop over them with my sponge and I think I'll get the most natural look I can have. When I saw that I had a full coverage foundation and a full coverage concealer, that's why I brought in the sponge today. And I do really like this Milani sponge. Um, the angle it's cut at, it's got this angled side and then kind of a flat part right up there. Um, and it comes with a smaller one too. And the smaller one can do a lot of work as well. It really expands when you wet it. So the eclipse was just amazing yesterday, by the way. I tried to show a little clip on my Instagram story of what it looked like, but the camera does kind of lighten things up a little bit. When we were in totality, it was darker than it appeared on the camera, um, but you still had just some light coming from the west and the east. And it just gave me the feeling of like a, the way it looks when sunrise is just starting, but also the way it looks when sunset is just ending. It was like seeing those two things simultaneously in the sky. And I think I remember 
noting that back in 2017 when this happened, which is crazy how those paths crisscrossed directly over our area. So we've gotten to see the eclipse this way twice. There's my e.l.f. camo concealer all blended in. Man, I'm covered well, but yet this isn't looking too heavy. Blending method is key, I think. For powder, I chose OS. A loose powder was chosen here by you know who because we've got the red. Um, so this is my one size loose powder. This is the smaller size, but yet there is even a tinier size that I have that I'll take with me if I travel somewhere. But this is just the translucent shade. It's called Ultimate Setting Powder. So some has already shaken out here for me on the top. And I will just dab this over my under eye. I think this is a really good setting powder. I mean, it's definitely one that I feel I can go to and get a good result with, not be over dried. The thing is, I just have really good drugstore options too. So I don't necessarily have to be like, oh, you gotta pay high-end money for this, when I feel like Maybelline Fit Me is such a sleigh. And so is Wet n Wild Photo Focus. I mean, packaging is cuter on this, but just depends on where your priorities are. Then I'm gonna take my Morphe Under Eye Bullet Brush, and as I tend to do, I just kind of smooth this around. I dust away excess. I feel like now the under eye and the T-zone are certainly ready to go for the day, you know? I'm really quite pleased with the complexion so far. Like, this is a great base for just whatever. For bronzer and contour, I have the Patrick Ta. So we got Belle's pick here for the bronzer or the contour, Patrick Ta. This is in the shade she sculpted, and it's got the cream contour and then the powder bronzer in here. So there's the cream contour under this little window. This is one of those products where I was really enthusiastic about it when I got it, but I feel like all in all, I haven't used it as much as I should have. I don't know why either. Part of it's probably because there are just tons of products in this general category that have come out that have just kept me bouncing around a lot. Um, one thing I like to do with this, I feel like this goes on fairly subtle, and I like to sweep it on with my finger just to make sure, like, yeah, some product's really laying down there. And I use the Patrick Ta brush as well. Um, I think my Sephora 56 picks up a little more product out of here all at once, but Patrick Ta's brush is a little larger. It's got this little, like, mini fan brush end, and then this end for the powder, so I like to lay down the cream first and then let the brush do its job, as opposed to dipping in with this brush. But it's a really gentle contour shade, and most definitely an easy blend for me. We've got this color that's cooler, and then there's a bit more warmth in the um, powder bronzer shade. You can see, very easily blendable. But yeah, our area just had a huge influx of out-of-town visitors, and I know all the hotels were packed and it was getting to be like within the last week if you could find a hotel room it was like over a thousand dollars but that's really cool for southern illinois to have something so special that again has happened here two times and then i'm going to take my powder brush end and go into my bronzer and this just very gently warms the skin going over the forehead area i actually got a little sunburn on my shoulders but my face did not I think I applied my sunscreen to the body a little late in the game. We were outside just like playing lawn games, like there were all these people kind of gathering at the community center. We turned on some music and got out like horseshoes and frisbees and we were just having a good old time. Okay, so can you see things kind of warming up a bit? I can take this a little higher. And it is just a sort of a subtle shade. Again, this is the duo in She Sculpted. So there we go on that. All right, things are still hanging together. Still a really good look. For blush, I chose ColourPop Cutesy Bootsy. <laughs> uh, Biddy came in with the blush choice. I said, do you want to choose from the creams and liquids or the powders? She said the creams and liquids because that was in a different drawer. And then, you know, I just opened the drawer and let her choose whatever she wanted. So she got this ColourPop, the Cutesy Wootsy Cream Shade, which is actually a lip and cheek, which is cool. I really enjoyed this shade from Valentine's Time, and I'm picking up a little bit on my Sephora 56 that I use for blush. And I think I've got a ton happening there, so let's dab off the excess and get her blended. 
Oh, but guys, this whole um, eclipse thing got me thinking about Little Shop of Horrors, which the movie was something my sister exposed me to long ago, and I absolutely love that movie. Granted, there are some parts, I mean, the, the creepy dentist stuff, creepy, but like, I just loved the songs so much. And if you guys could just, I will link below to the song Skid Row, the one that's like downtown. That song is everything. You have to watch it and you have to see it all. Like, just the layers and the voices. Pop and I were talking recently, like that song is pure entertainment start to finish, but there's a total eclipse in that movie, and that's where the strange and unusual plant comes from, right? Okay, so I got this all blended out. This looks actually super fresh. Um, you kind of wonder when you see that first streak, like it can be very intense, but this is the kind of cheek that, yeah, could, could work for about anything right now. Next, I have the rose gold highlighter the rose gold one from Hard Candy. This is a really pretty one actually. Um, I like using this. We've got the three strips of color. You can kind of bounce around between them all and just get a little lightness and brightness there on the cheek. Sure. I can tell it's kind of clinging in there to that cream blush so it's showing very well. Another new thing in our lives that started this past week at or, or on Friday, Bubba started pre-K soccer. <laughs> When the email went out, I just thought, you know, this might be another good thing that he can do before starting pre-K in the fall, just to get around more kids, you know, and just get a little more comfortable with things. And let me just say, pre-K soccer is entertaining to watch. Um, there are some kids who you can just tell, maybe they've already done it for a year or so, and maybe they've watched siblings play this before, or maybe they're just extra talented naturally at soccer, but they know what they're doing. But then there's a lot of kids who they're first timers with this. Uga is a total first timer. I mean, he has never watched anyone play soccer. And the first game, the way he just kind of, you know, picked grass, looked around, just acclimated himself to his surroundings. And it's funny how kids kind of drop off as the game goes on. Like toward the end, they start drifting over to their parents who are sitting on the sidelines and stuff. But he stays out there, which is good. I'm just really glad he's not crying for me. And I'm glad he's happy. Like he'll give me a huge thumbs up. And each game, he's had three games already now. He played Friday, Saturday, and then last night. And every game has gotten a little better for him in terms of like, okay, realizing what's going on, realizing we're running this way, we're running that way. And he absolutely loves to kick the ball. But it's just like, why are all these other kids swarming the ball after I kick it? The idea of continued kicking is still something we're working on. I'm just glad he's happy to be out there and he's comfortable with the separation. With me being on the sidelines and him not running over to me all the time. I'm impressed and I'm surprised by that. So, so far so good. For setting spray, I got Wet n Wild Care Bears. Because it has a Care Bear on it and I love Care Bears. Yep, we got this Get Through the Night uh, Care Bear Setting Spray. This is something limited edition, so I don't know. They're probably selling it on Amazon for like $800 or something, but it does smell good. Kind of smells like lavender, actually. So I could use a little setting spray on top of this look. We have added some creams. We've got some highlighter. Surface of the skin is looking nice, but we do have also some full coverage underneath. So yes, setting spray is good. It's all hanging together so far. For the brow pencil, um, I picked the e.l.f. Instant Brow Pencil. This is just the classic version of e.l.f. Instant Lift, which I wear in the shade Neutral Brown. So the thickness on this pencil, I talked about this a lot, but it's not the skinniest. It's not really formed in any unusual shape like some are too. It's just like a regular twist up retractable pencil, um, but not an ultra skinny one. And the tone is really good for my brows. For a long time, I think this was selling for $2. They may have raised it to three. Either way, it's gonna be probably your most affordable option in the drugstore. There we go, one brow in. We can take our little spoolie. Yes. Oh, during the um, Saturday soccer game, I saw him taking kids by the hand and trying to get them to crouch down on the ground with him and pick clovers, so he may be a bit of a bad influence. The nice thing about this soccer is, like, I don't think anybody's super serious about it. Like, for example, last night the other team 
didn't have enough players and like we just gave him a couple off of our team and, and nobody minded that. <laughs> I love low pressure sports. But then when I see a game in March Madness, darn it, I want it to be close. I was really rooting for Purdue last night in the national championship, but UConn, I mean, they're just indestructible. I've rooted a lot for Illinois and Purdue throughout this season because they both got each of the stars that were on SIU's team last year. Illinois got Marcus Damask and Purdue got Lance Jones and it's been cool to see them do so well on such a big stage. For brow gel, I chose Cossus Airbrow. Next step, we're going to take our Airbrow in the dark brown shade. I think this product is about out. This is an empty, pretty much. I should have put this in my bin a while ago. Okay, it's doing a little something. I really like the Airbrow pencil because it's square. This is square too, but I think that's even more valuable for the pencil lay down there. That works. I didn't have anybody choose an eye primer because I thought, doggone it, I'm taking control on that step and I'm going to be using Milani. For eyeshadow, I have the Mercury Retrograde. <laughs> that <guys> look wonderful. <laughs> and then we have to really think how we're going to pull off this eyeshadow palette because the lip is strong. With all three lip choices, I had them choose Liner, gloss, and lipstick, and it's gonna be loud. There's no way around it. And this is the eyeshadow palette. Loud to the tune of a bright orange was chosen and two hot pinks. So then I've got Mercury Retrograde. And this has some color, but it also has some neutral. I could veer more toward this end and probably make everything seem a little bit cohesive with this look. We'll do our best. I'm going to take this shade called Off Balance over here. Correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't Mercury in Retrograde currently? Yeah, so this color on the end here definitely brings some pink. It's been a while since I've used this palette. Um, in the picking of the products, I will say Biddy just went for it quick, just immediately saw something that she liked the look of and just pulled it out quickly. And Belle absolutely poured over the stuff, like went through every item. Okay, so we're getting a little soft pinky crease here. It's been a while since I've had anybody choose my makeup look. Maybe Bub needs to get back in here again. Somebody said that I need to have my cats choose, like put out two products and see if they like move toward one of them. Now I want to deepen things a little bit. I think I'll take the color uh, Hot Mess right here. It's got this reddish look, kind of plummy red. Deepen our crease a bit. This might be a little dark to just be throwing on with my crease brush, but we're trying. Are any of you from families where it's like nobody ever played soccer and now I feel like in our town, you know, once they start doing this youth soccer, everybody does it. It seems like everybody's in soccer. At this age, it's just one of those available things. Now the girls were never really interested in it, but Ugga said he wanted to, but like Bub and I, it, it was never an available thing in our childhood. Like in terms of sports for little kids in town, there was t-ball and then all those other levels of baseball and softball, but nobody was playing soccer and we didn't even and have soccer in school either. I feel like I've done a pretty good job getting these shades nicely blended in, but I need some darkness on the outer lid, of course. I love that look. And um, we've got this color called Vortex here, this dark plum, which I think will be good for us with the flat brush. This is a really essential shade for this palette because look at all the brightness and lightness from all the other shades. Like you've got to have something dark like this to rein it in. Okay, so I've taken that straight up to my crease. I can feel my brush touching the crease. And this is the point where I would bring in my small pointed brush. Nothing's really on it right now, or I could add a little bit to it. And just swirl it up there. Giving us lift. This shade is very clearly plum, but it's not too loud as a purple, so <laughs> just keep it in mind what's to come for this lip. Okay, that's looking good. Um, I would maybe like to see some gold come in on the lid. Uh, one of these goldeny shades, yeah. Let's take some gold glitch right here, second from the end. Okay, this shade's got a little chunk to it, but I'm really applying and pressing with this smaller Morphe brush. So this is not the first one I used with the plum. And then I think ultimately, let's pat it on. 
Mm, I think that looks pretty, just kind of starting to fizzle out as it hits the plum. Have I ever done this combo with this palette? I surely have. I really like that. I love the way that gold and the plum look kind of starting to come together. What I think I just need a little bit more of is, is some more haze coming out from the top. I think it's going to be a little bit more of this shade right here, this one called Off Balance. Just let that raise up. See how I just made that a little bit more diffused and just gently coming up, gentle color there. Maybe I take a little bit of this peach called Utopia. I used to love using peach up under the brow bone, like in high school. I had this peach single from CoverGirl and I'd always use it. Now it wasn't that pigmented, but I always felt like it brought that area to life. Okay, that's good. As far as eyeliner, I know a liquid liner was chosen. So maybe I do a little lower lash line with the plum called Vortex right in here. Just softly plumb on the lower lash line. You can't even really see, get a major sense of how much color is there, but it just looks soft and a little bit dark. I'm really into this if I ever do powder on the lower lash line. I take some Cloud Set, an airy, small brush, hit immediately underneath what I just did there and I'm convinced it helps the staying power tremendously. When I haven't used something that's like a jumbo stick or a pencil that I know will set. I picked this. Physicians? Physicians formula. I got it because it looks like it has little raindrops. And it feels like it, so yeah. The eyeliner choice, the super skinny from Physicians Formula. What do they call this? Eye Booster Super Slim Liquid Eyeliner. It is a really tiny brush and it does have water droplets on it. And this has been really good. I've actually used this one a lot as far as when I need a black liquid liner. I at first thought, gosh, is it gonna be so skinny I have to go over and over my line? No, it's actually really good. And you just apply a little more pressure and you get more thickness in your line, but we're just going to go for a very fine line today. I'm going to just keep it at the lash line. I'm not going to wing it out. Just very tight to the lash line there. You can see the difference this eye to this eye. For mascara, I picked the panorama. I think the mascaras were looked at for a solid five minutes before the L'Oreal Panorama was chosen. So some of these decisions were very carefully made. I'm going to take my Shiseido Lash Curler. And this mascara has been pretty good for me. Not too bad in terms of holding the curl. Builds up fairly well. It's definitely going to hold my curl better than the classic L'Oreal Voluminous. And I feel like it's gotten a little bit better with age, like as I've had it on hand. Just one coat is building up nicely. Um, I like the shape and size of the brush. I feel like it's easy to control. The bristles are very short. I'll come back and build up that coat in a second. Yesterday, Bub um, put a pork butt on the smoker before he went to work. He worked like half the day and then came home for the eclipse and then took it off when he came home. And it was so good, so, so good. And he didn't realize that I had like these little Hawaiian roll um, slider buns to put it on. And so he comes walking out with it in a hot dog bun. And honestly, the hot dog bun was way neater. Like nothing was falling out. It, it was a great vehicle for the pulled pork. One thing about Bub is when he smokes something, it's going to be amazing. Like you can just count on it being good. He does have a Traeger. And the neat thing was like he was able to make adjustments from work through his app. Like the little probe or I don't know what's inside it that's telling him information about how hot it's getting. He can adjust that from work. I, I just think that's amazing. I'm just bouncing back and forth between the eyes now starting to build up. This isn't a mascara that I think builds its best with immediate coats. I think you kind of take a little break and it starts to build better as the original coat starts to get just a little more dry. So there's what's starting to happen on that right eye. Um, probably ultimately like three coats are on there now. Sometimes I neglect the little outermost lashes like they could hold a little bit more. I'm trying to pay better attention to that. 
We've got a nice eye look here. I mean, I think we made that Mercury Retrograde palette super wearable, and it is a wearable palette. Like, you look in there and you think about the teal shades and think, oh, I'm gonna look like a mermaid when I'm done, but, you know, there are many more options inside. For lipstick, I got a Milani lipstick. For the lip lighter, I took Super Stay Crayon, and I picked it because it doesn't match the lipstick. Lip gloss, I got ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip. The three-pronged lip look is bright, brighter, and brightest. The orange, okay. Um, yes, the gloss will have to go on last. The orange needs to be minimal. It's really an orangey red because that's going to be the most clashy, I think with the eye look. So let's start out with this. This is the Milani lipstick in the shade Voyeur. So it's their color fetish lipstick that's not the matte. It's the one that's kind of like a lip butter. So, oh, it's so pink. I'm dabbing it on, kind of trying to go sheer with it, honestly. I'm spreading it out with my finger. Okay. That's pretty. I, I really do like the shade. I just probably, if it was my own choice, I would have gone more neutral-ish on the lips. This is the shade Laugh Louder, um, which is what y'all will be doing when you watch it go on. Um, this is Super Stay Mad Ink Crayon. It's a reddish, like, orange. It's a really pretty shade all on its own. I guess I'll just, like, add some in kind of around. Like, this was picked, it was in with my lip liners. And so when I said pick a lip liner, this is what she went for. So I'm just blending that in around the outside. It's kind of warming up that pink, that cool pink. Look, I've kind of got an ombre thing going. Hmm, what the girls want, the girls get. Um, the Ultra Glossy Lip is in the shade Lover Era, and it's like a shimmery rose color. So let's pop this on top, bring it all together. This does have some pigment in it. This was from the Valentine's stuff. Oh, it smells really good. What is that smell exactly? Some kind of cereal it's reminding me of. There's the lip, she's pretty bold, but really from a distance, you know, like if I'm looking really up close, I could be like, well, maybe I would have chosen something different, blah, 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 but there's a little bit of pink coming out of the eye look and there's a definite pink lip and the complexion looks phenomenal. Honestly, like we use the CoverGirl Red Cap, Elf Camo Concealer. You can't go wrong with those products for coverage from the drugstore. And then some really good choices were made, I think, in terms of the cheek color, um, the contour as well, the highlighter. Everything made the surface of the skin actually look more natural. That's the way they ended up coming together. And then Mercury Retrograde, I'm happy to use that palette again because it's been a while. And now I'm just kind of reinforcing the curl of my lashes and seeing if I want to go in with possibly one extra coat before it's all said and done. That's the thing, this mascara can really build a lot and it doesn't get the funky ends. I don't have anything on my lower lashes just cause like nothing was chosen and I'm not sure if I trust this down there. So that's my finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you ladies for your lovely assortment of products that I would not have maybe chosen to put together on my own. It's a fun look and this will be the look I take to school pickup and cheer practice and everywhere else I need to be today. So thanks for watching friends, I love you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Hope you liked it. Happy Eclipse Day. Have you seen the full eclipse today? I <laughs> Okay, both of you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I said, 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 I